While I was working on belt tensioning, I discovered that my gantry right here was not square. I noticed this because when I had this all the way up here, this wheel was touching this corner bracket, whereas the one over here was not. There was actually like a, I want to say like a 3 8 inch gap. So I didn't realize this because I have been printing really big things, but the printer was skewing my prints. So it's not really noticeable, uh, I don't think, but it's been happening. So I uh, actually started off by looking at a picture from, I forget, I think I found it on like the 3D printing stack exchange or something, where someone had actually a very nice picture of an Ender 5 printer that highlighted all the components to square up the gantry. And I think that that actually has a few extra steps that don't necessarily need to be taken. So the key thing that I noticed when I was squaring, squaring up my gantry is that these two screws, there's one in, inboard screw here and there's one inboard screw over there. Those need to be loosened. And then you have the two Y-axis shaft couplings in the very back. Those two need to be loosened as well so you can free up the Y-axis uh, drive shafts. So once those are all loosened up, that's when you bring your gantry all the way up front and make it so that well, it'll be loose enough so that your front wheels here will be touching each of these corner brackets. And once that's the case, that's when you tighten up your Y-axis drive shaft couplings. And then you tighten up the screws holding the inboard screws on the gantry. And I think everything should be good. So, one thing I found a problem with is that these inboard screws are actually pretty hard to get to with an Allen wrench. So, one potential upgrade that I, well, I plan on doing this, if I have to get this apart again, I'm just going to replace them with bolts. That way you can use a little wrench to get up to them and just loosen them if you have to make adjustments again. Because I'm finding that it's pretty easy to strip the uh, Allen screws, especially when you're working at an angle like this, with this uh, frame member in the way. So that's something to consider if you have to get this printer apart. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.